the second part in the pre-operative evaluation is examination so in examination we will do two types of examination like the first one general physical examination we will look into the body's uh, color like uh, the any discoloration of the sclera or the nail discoloration so uh, we will do general physical examination first and then we will go systemic wise like first we will do uh, cardiovascular system examination in uh, cardiovascular system examination we will do first inspection and then we will do uh, palpation uh, and then we'll go through percussion and fourth one the most important one we will do escaltation escaltation through stethoscope we will uh, hear the heart sound through stethoscope so this is uh, about the cvs examination in the second one systemic wise we will go so the second one is central nervous system examination we will check any peripheral neuropathy or any uh, muscles uh, tones and uh, we will go any type of uh, epilepsy and etc then we will go to the respiratory system examination respiratory system like we will check any abdominal mass any abdominal mass any type of ACTs like lower abdomen um, edema then we will hear to the breath sound breath sound any type of chest infection any type of chest infection then we will go through the airway assessment airway assessment or airway examination we will uh, check is there any type of obstruction in the upper respiratory tract or uh, any type of obstruction in the lower respiratory tract the third part is investigations in pre-operative evaluation we have investigations during uh, before any surgery we will investigate the patient through many blood tests or uh, uh, urea test ACG chest x-ray uh, etc so investigations we will do the blood CP test blood CP second one any type of uh, uh, renal uh, uh, dysfunction like we will do BUN blood urea nitrogen level uh, here we will check urea plus electrolytes imbalance before any type of surgery we will have to do blood CP BUN test third ECG electrocardiogram and then chest x-ray then we will check clotting profile we will uh, in clotting profile we will check clotting factor 2 7 9 10 etc to check is uh, uh, any type of clotting property exist or not if there is a clotting protein deficiency then we will never go through surgery because there will be no clotting of blood sixth one we will go through urine analysis and then we will go through beta hcg test beta hcg test is actually for pregnancy because sometimes the patient doesn't know whether she is pregnant or not so we will do must beta hcg test then we will have to go through uh, blood glucose level blood glucose level to check any type of diabetes because mostly we uh, in diabetes surgery is contraindicated then we will go through arterial blood gases abgs and then finally we will go through lfts liver function test to check any type of deficiency of the clotting proteins to check any type of deficiency of albumins etc